<laughs> this is magic. Magic is bored today because it's snowing and it's cold out there and I don't want to stay out so long. We just uh, played fetch and he wasn't at all finished. And so what do you do when you have a bored dog inside on a snowy day? <laughs> well, I've got a puzzle toy here. This is um, from Kong. This is the bottom half of it. It's a weighted, it's a weighted uh, puzzle toy. You can see there's a, I've got several different uh, treats in there. There's some from Nylabone. There's uh, some, well, let's see. Uh, okay, those are, oh, those are from Hearts. These are actually, these are cat treats. They're dental treats. He absolutely loves those. And let's see, what else do I have here? Here's the top half. These are, uh, well, it's just regular dog food. It's a specialty brand that he really likes. I use as as treats. I think that's uh, Purina's Beneful, actually. And he really likes that. Here's the, uh, here's the lid. This is the the Kong Wobbler. There's the lid. You can see there's a little little tiny hole there. And the two of these things screw together just like this. Uh, okay, i got to get it on there tight because uh, Genius Dog here has learned that he doesn't have to necessarily shake all this stuff out. He can unscrew the lid and then eat it all. <laughs> so I'm going to see what he will do magic. Sit. Wait. Okay. There you go. And as you can see, when he wobbles this, it shakes out kibble. Keeps him busy, occupied. I've actually fed him uh, one of his uh, one of his dry meal rations will uh, fit in the top of that, will fit the whole thing. I will warn you, it works better on uh, carpet. You get it on linoleum and it makes quite a rattle. It'll keep you awake at night. And he'll chase this all over the house. If you put several different value levels of treat in there, he never knows. I mean, you can keep him busy with this for a long time. He may only like one of those really, really well, but he knows they're in there and he'll just keep uh, keep sniffing it and keep a rolling. So, I can get a close-up of this. Okay, hold on a second here. I don't know if you can see. That's supposed to be smooth. <laughs> That's where he got frustrated and so he just lay down and started gnawing on it, and that's when he got the thing open. Go at it, bud. <laughs> okay, let's bring it back in here. Let's not go in the bedroom. The bedroom's too messy. Come on, let's bring it in here. <laughs> yeah. All right, there you go. You gonna get it? Well... I will warn you though, I have another puzzle toy here and uh, if you don't clean these things out or if he, if your dog, uh, he's getting serious now, if your dog doesn't uh, pick up everything, at least here in North Texas, you can have some ant problems. So do be sure that you clean these things up. <laughs> I have some really high value bonuses in there that are just a little bit too big to easily come out of that hole. So that's really got him got him going.
Oh, now we're getting serious. Oh, I can see it's starting to loosen there on the bottom. Uh-oh, here we go. Now, obviously, if you have a, a smaller size dog, that probably is not going to be a problem, but he can get his, his whole mouth around the top of that. And I don't know that he's learned to uh, actually rotate, but... Uh, through trial and error, I can see it's already starting to loosen there. <laughs> Are we having fun yet? He hasn't a clue who I'm talking to. He's a little bit frustrated, aren't you, bud? And you've made it all nasty, too. If you have more than one dog and they are at all uh, competitive, you're probably going to want to have a few of these around so that there's not an argument. There actually are puzzle toys for cats as well. They, kitty cats tend to need a little bit more instruction, though you have to show them how they work. I'll do another video in the future and show you one that uh, Saren uses in life. And actually I use the, uh, the dental treats that he's going after here with her because she really, really likes those. And that way you have not only a, a treat and entertaining the brain, keeping the pet engaged in life and hunting, uh, but once they actually get the treats out, and if they're in a dental treat, you're doing good stuff for their, for the teeth as well, their dental health. <laughs> We're just about to cut this off because I think the video is, is nearly done. It's already starting to loosen there. Give him another little bit and he's going to have this open again. <laughs> ah, he did it! <laughs> Smart dog! <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'll let you go back. <laughs> ah. I wonder if we're going to have to find a puzzle toy that uh, he can't get into. How about that good boy? <laughs>